wire silk fabric you can even use satin or uh, chiffon silk colors you get all kinds of colors this is called resist or gutta which is used for outlining you get these also in all colors brushes for painting and a wooden frame this also you can adjust you can even take a square frame and then put thumbtacks in this take the silk fabric and put it on the frame like I have done the fabric should be really tight and not loose at all then trace out the design that you want on the fabric this time I have taken a flower now you take the transparent gutta and then apply a very thin line on the pattern that you have traced out be very careful when you are applying gutta see that you don't leave any gaps otherwise the color when, whenever you put the dye it will leak out after you apply the gutta double check again to make sure that there is no open spaces left otherwise all the dye will leak out and spoil your design now leave the gutta to dry for at least 4-5 hours preferably overnight for best results now we are going to paint this flower this is mainly in oranges and reds first we put the orange color on the outside of the petal don't put it too close to the outline because the color spreads on its own you don't have to put it very close then take the pink color and just apply it and just blend the two and apply a bit of the orange at the tip and blend Similarly, you do the other petals. Mm -hmm. And this is how the petals will look after being painted. Just remember not to use too many, uh, too much look liquid. Otherwise, it will overflow out of the, uh, the outline like it has done here slightly. And uh, always blend in the colors so that it looks very pretty after you have shaded it. After you have painted the uh, stamens which is purple, and the base of the flower which is blue in color we are going to paint the leaves first we take the green this is slightly olive green in color and you put this on the leaf you can use the paint directly from the bottle if you want if you are not mixing it with any other color And then now we just going to apply a little shade of blue. Just merge the two colors. And this is how your leaf is going to look. If the color does leak out, don't worry, you can always fix it by picking it up with water when it dries. And here you are, your leaf is ready. This is how we are going to do the rest of the leaves also. First with green, then a very slight touch of blue. And this is how the finished flower will look.